Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to handle aerial roots during repotting. Generally speaking, Phalaenopsis with a lot of aerial roots like this one is not recommended, but we sometimes were tantalized by the beautiful flowers or cheap price, to purchase a Phalaenopsis orchid like this with a lot of aerial roots. Like all repotting procedures, first we have to soak the orchids roots in potting media, including all aerial roots, to make them more flexible and easy to handle. After about 10 minutes, when all that below the stem are saturated, we can remove the old potting media. We can clearly see that the roots growing in potting media are not as many outside the pot. This orchid basically lived on the moisture outside the pot. Let's remove the old sphagnum moss to see what's in there. The roots in sphagnum moss are fine, however, they are short and much less than the roots outside the pot. I'm going to remove the old tissue on the stem, because the old dead tissue on the stem will become the food of bacteria to cause diseases. This old leaf is yellowing, we can remove it during repotting, so that the new roots will come out faster.
after rinse the entire orchid. Now we can proceed repotting. Due to the roots were not girdling in the pot, we have to choose a bigger pot for our repotting. However, this pot is too big to retain too much water, we are stuffing some packing styrofoam in the bottom of the pot. Put a layer of styrofoam and push sphagnum moss alongside the pot rim, so that the roots can stretch out and in the future. If using the soft styrofoam like this, watch out that too many layers of soft styrofoam will decrease the water drainage. There will not be any problems, if the styrofoam is hard and solid. We can put a piece of styrofoam under the stem, then slowly add sphagnum moss and wrap the roots into sphagnum moss. After all roots are wrapped with sphagnum moss, push the sphagnum moss ball gently into the pot. Gently push more sphagnum moss into the pot to stuff the empty spaces.
hang it on a place with good ventilation and wait for the wounds to dry, then we can do the first watering. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.